Okay, so now we want to look at protolytic reactions, which is just the fancy name for reactions of acids. Because remember, protons, so protolytic reactions. What sort of reactions do acid have? Okay, and in a protolytic reaction, you transfer protons. So these are the general reactions. Look, an acid plus a metal gives you salt and hydrogen gas. An acid plus a metal hydroxide gives you a salt and water. An acid plus a metal oxide, acid plus a metal carbonate. Those reactions, I think they've started discussing with you from grade nine. So you need to know um, how to form these. If they say they gave you an acid and a metal, you need to know they're going to produce a salt and hydrogen gas provided that they are reactive metals, like copper, for instance, doesn't like to do this because it's not reactive enough. So this acid plus a metal gives you a salt and hydrogen gas is technically a redox reaction, not an acid base reaction, because the metal here, remember in redox, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. This metal is going to lose two electrons and become a metal ion, okay? And these protons in the acid are going to gain electrons and become hydrogen gas. So in all of these general reactions, they can be represented as H, because H is a proton for an acid, plus its little anion and a metal is going to give you the anion and the metal cation and hydrogen gas. So we're going to use this H for whatever is the proton for the acid, and then this A is just the anion of the acid plus whatever the reactant is. So uh, if you wanted to look at a specific example of this, if you mix nitric acid and sodium metal, this would be interesting. It would be um, violent. So if you mix nitric acid and a metal like sodium, you'll end up with the metal turns into an iron, sodium nitrate, and then hydrogen gas is released. This is almost certainly going to be violently exothermic and this will catch fire, but hey. So this is a redox reaction and it's not technically an acid base reaction, but it is a general reaction of an acid. Okay. The next one is an acid plus a base gives you a salt and water. So here's your general acid mixing with your base. Okay. And remember the base is usually the hydroxide with a metal, uh, metal cation. So here's your acid plus your base. They give you the anion and the metal cation and water. Why is this two not small? I'll have to fix it. So sulfuric acid and magnesium hydroxide is going to give you magnesium sulfate and water. An acid plus a base gives you a salt and water. And then now this salt is in aqueous solution. So then an acid plus a metal oxide gives you a salt and water. So here's my H for my acid, my A for my anion, my metal ion, and my O for my oxygen gives you the anion, the metal ion, and water. Okay. So metal oxides actually usually become um, basic things normally. So like magnesium oxide and water would probably become magnesium hydroxide. So hydrochloric acid plus magnesium oxide goes to magnesium chloride and water. An acid plus a metal oxide gives you a salt and water. And now for everybody's favorite because it releases gas and effervescence. An acid plus a metal carbonate gives you a salt, water and carbon dioxide gas. So here's your acid, here's your metal carbonate, gives you an anion and a metal cation and water and carbon dioxide gas. So we often see this with calcium carbonate, eggshells, limestone, marble, all sorts of things like that. So hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate goes to calcium chloride, the salt and water and carbon dioxide gas. So what actually happens here is one of these oxygens from the carbonate, okay, mixes with the protons to form the water so one oxygen take one oxygen off here mix it with two protons from two acids and you get the water and then if you take co3 minus an o gives you co2 so this carbonate ion splits up and gives one oxygen to the acid and that or the proton in the acid which then becomes water and we will look at neutralization on the next one. But these general reactions, okay, an acid plus a metal gives you a salt and hydrogen gas. 
an acid plus a base gives you a salt and water, an acid plus a metal oxide gives you a salt and water, an acid plus a metal carbonate gives you salt, water, and carbon dioxide. You have to know them and be able to do this, go from a general reaction like this to the specific. So if I say to you this is sulfuric acid and this is sodium carbonate, you must be able to figure out what is the salt, what is the water, what is the carbon dioxide like math easy. You just have to figure out the formula of what the salt will be based on the acid and the metal carbonate. So it's just the anion from the acid and the cation, whatever was the metal carbonate. And that's the end of protolytic reactions, easy peasy.